What is up you guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we are at the slaughterhouse and um, I recently bought this uh, torch from B&M which actually cost me £5 which is not too bad uh, that's a pretty big flashlight as well so um, that should bring some good lighting um, I still need to get on another few things as well like uh, respirator masks, gloves um, all that other good stuff um, I'm currently using my iPhone 7 right now um, because I don't actually have a, a proper camera for this kind of um, urban exploring and stuff like that so I'm really sorry about that but in the near future <coughs> I will be buying myself a camera and stuff so um, I'm here with my friend Thomas he actually recommended the uh, place he found this um, place through another YouTuber uh, called Wills Vlogs and it's pretty huge I'm not gonna lie so I cannot wait to explore this place, so let's get the video started. Well, this place is protected by CCTV cameras and um, we were here uh, yesterday and basically we had went through the fence over there but it's been padlocked so we ended up with another entrance on this side which Thomas found and uh, yeah it's, it's not good because they obviously probably knew that we were here. <laughs> But um, uh, we're still inside, so that's the main thing. Um, but I'm pretty excited to explore this place, it's pretty huge. Alright guys, so we're here at the back of the building at the Loden Bay. Um, we have some of these shutters over here, I guess these trucks would come by and drop off supplies and stuff like that. And we have stairs to the entrance as well. Um, the place does look pretty amazing and I can't wait to see what's inside so let's take a look damn that's really dark well let's test out the new camera uh, the new uh, torch that's not too bad actually what do you think yeah it's quite easy we also have Thomas's big massive torch on top of his camera as well but uh, look at this place, oh my god I don't think I was here the last time no so the place is pretty soaked I guess it was like raining yesterday or something um, but there's just loads of rubbish to be honest there's nothing really special here I mean there are there is objects here that um, that obviously have been left from like centuries but uh, some bits look pretty modern so it's like people have been here before and just dumped a load of rubbish really but uh, yeah so here we have this big massive pole which they would put hooks on um, which they would hang lambs and sheep and cattle upside down and stuff like that which it's pretty sickening I wouldn't really want to work in a place like this it's obviously not going to be a fun job with the smell of flesh and everything like that and yeah it's pretty revolting <laughs> I'm not going to lie but uh, we have the main hallway along here so uh, let's read what this thing says backpack chill okay well i have no clue what that means <laughs> uh, oh urban explorers lobium would you look at that thomas yeah that is pretty funny uh <laughs> we will be able to check out that channel and uh See what they've got. Obviously they've been here before, so <laughs> I think we should make something like that so that we've been here, but uh, yeah. Um, so we're in the next room here. We're just on the left of the hallway and the place is just pretty empty. Like, all of this has obviously just been taken off from the top of there. Uh, and just pieces of paper and stuff like that, but obviously there's no power, so. It's all completely dark and black and everything like that. But we have holding area QA, so 
I guess. This is where they would hold all the sheep and stuff like that, I don't know. But um, there's a big massive door that's just been completely taken off uh, a ventilator and stuff like that. I think that's just been taken off from the roof. Uh, we have some massive poles along here, no clue what it used to be, but it's pretty rusted. Um, and yeah, it's just a big open space, I guess. But it would be amazing to see what this place was like uh, back then. And seeing how everything worked. But yeah, we've got another one of these hook things. I can hear a lot of pigeons flying about as well. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, it's coming to me! <laughs> oh my god, there's like two! These pigeons are not scared. So contamination station. Um, so obviously they would contaminate all of the sheep and stuff. <coughs> so we've got some fire uh, safety equipment here, but it's obviously not here anymore. Uh, no fire extinguisher. Nothing. Um, got the fire exit here, and we have another escape route here as well. I guess this is where they would also park a uh, truck and stuff like that and just load stuff in, um, like supplies and things like that. Uh, but yeah, the place is pretty huge, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's quite massive and um, yeah, it's, it's huge. But uh, let's have a look around more. So, there is a set of stairs here, which takes you up to the top floor, and I guess we get got to go and check it out, huh? So let's go. These stairs are pretty slanted, so it's not easy to walk up to. But obviously the ivy and everything's just been taken over and things like that. But uh, I'm going to climb this fence and then we'll get to the top. Alright guys, so I've made it to the top of the stairs and here's what we found. So we got a nice view over there and things like that. Loads of rubbish on the roof. Uh, obviously this place is half collapsed and we have a little bit more of a view over here as well. But yeah, you, you can see how big this place really is just from Eagle's view I guess. But. There's just a lot of rubbish here and rocks and obviously this place has been burnt halfway through so yeah uh, we've got bunches of like rusted poles and things uh, over the years that this place has been running and um, some drawers and stuff that's where they keep the files and stuff like that so um yeah i guess we get or i guess we better head back down now um because there's nothing to really cross and I don't really want to go further along and end up through the floor so let's head back down Alright, so Ow. Ow. Uh, that's me back at the bottom. Let's try and find Thomas and see where he's at. But uh, better get prepared with my flashlight because this place is pretty dark. There we go. Actually, no. So, we basically just went through all of this area. Just one big more open space and stuff, just rubbish. 
You could actually do this place up and like throw a party or something, I don't know. Just a suggestion. But we have this area over here. Um, these, this must have been like a shelf or something. Everything's just been ripped apart. Uh, and that must be part of a fan, like some sort of ventilator. Uh, and yeah, pallets. I guess they would use these pallets for deliveries and stuff like that. So, because this is near the back of the building. Um, yeah, and more cages and stuff. Uh, uh, let's take a look over here. Whoops. So we've got this area over here. Oh, I thought that would lead to somewhere, but no. But yeah, this is like where they would hang all the lambs in the fucking ear. Like, this is just really terrifying to like look at. It's like something out of a horror movie, you know. Uh, let's take a look over here. This looks like some cell. There's just nothing here. I've literally just built bricks right up it. So. Put this over here as well. Jeez, look at this thing. I wonder what this was used for. I do not have a single clue. Well, that's pretty terrifying. Oh, there's some sort of underground tunnel over there. Let's take a look. That was quite terrifying. Just a bunch of cobwebs. Oh, that's war. Fluff and stuff. It's not very nice to have. Not gonna lie, this hallway looks pretty creepy. I wonder what this was used for as well. This looks like uh, some sort of control thing to move all the sheep around and stuff like that. Oh no, this is probably to like contaminate them. What's this? Now wash your hands. Ah! So all the staff, right, that work here, they would use these to wash their hands from the pipes up there. Man. No taps, no nothing. Please wash boots and then hands when entering and leaving the factory. So, yeah. Oh, we've got another set of stairs here. Damn, I keep shitting myself in those pigeons. <laughs> but uh, let's go up these set of stairs and see what kind of view we have there, up there. <clears throat> Here we have another view of the place. Damn, that whole uh, roof is flooded. <laughs> but yeah, here's another view of the place, I guess. Another set of stairs, so. Yeah, you can just see all the way down there. <coughs> this place is absolutely filled with leaves and stuff. There's so many pigeons. Oh shit! Fucking hell. There's so many of them. It's unreal. <laughs> they all live here. There's just a whole nest of pigeons. Uh, but here we have another nice view. And uh, yeah, I wonder what this place was. This looks like some sort of office or something like that. I have no clue. And I'm seeing a lot of spray paint. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of spray paint with cock on the wall. <laughs> 
Like, what entertaining is that? How is that entertaining? No clue. But, um, let's go and try and find where Thomas is because he keeps disappearing. Uh, but there is no other way on this side of the building. There's literally no way. Like, that's just completely crossed over uh, with ivy and stuff. Let's head back to the stairs. Let's see what we've got. Oh, before we go, let's just take a look at this. It's a fire action. And um, obviously we've got the little fire alarm escape thing here. Um, there's no fire extinguisher or things like that. Thomas is shouting me. You're shouting me! Thomas! Thomas! Shot myself. Another picture. It was injured. So yeah, we have another room here. Um, just filled with like wooden planks and things like that. These look like showers, I'm guessing. Ah, uh, so we have another room here where they would clean all their boots and stuff. Except these ones don't have taps. I think they would use this thing. I think this is some sort of water pipe. And they'd probably clean their boots with this. And then all the water would drain from through there. Uh, and then we've got the view of the hallway. Let's take a look in here. So we've got the laundry room um, in here. Oh, there's a dead pigeon on the floor. Oh, there's another one as well. What the f That's disgusting. That's just gross. But um, yeah, loads of shelves and stuff like that. We did put all their laundry in clothes and things like that. And we've also got the other room over here, I guess, which is called um, NHS office. Uh, I have no clue what this office would be used for, but I guess one of the employers that runs the place. By the way, I just seen a pigeon that's literally just stood there. I think it's injured. I've got a pigeon through there with a head missing. No, but look, come and look at this pigeon. Where? I'll show you. There's a pigeon just lying there in fear. Aww. Hope he's okay. I have no clue. Ow! Oh, sorry. You alright? Fucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> right, come through here. Um, did you go through to the main room through there? There's a pigeon with his head completely ripped off. I don't think I want to look at that. I'm going to blur it my video. Oh god. I've said that. Um, we go through here, we've got um, the laundry room and then we've got the laundry room. Um, we've got in there where the baby pigeons are. Then we have an office to here actually. So this is where we've got the office in here. And it's got its own little bathroom which is really really good. And it's the only bathroom in this place that is actually intact. Um, so, I'm guessing this is another fire escape. Judging by the, the sign and everything like that. My glass has been completely smashed. Have you seen the eggs through there? Oh. Seen the eggs through there? The eggs? There's an egg, there's two wee eggs. And then no. there's two wee pigeons in there. No. Um, so we have a little storage cupboard as well. Nothing too much. Um, oh, we have a pigeon down. They'll, they'll hurt themselves all the time. That is one angry looking pigeon, eh? Yep. It looks like that, that really grumpy pigeon from the movie. But uh, we have the Avatar locker room. Um, I would, I would want to help it, but I don't want to get diseases and things like that. So, 
Oh, it's got a giant hole here. Something it's got something in it. It's tangled. Just to make sure. It's tangled in something. What's it tangled in? Um, would you help it or? Hold the camera. I would watch. Oh, yeah, here's the locker room where so they would just the get changed. <laughs> they look like they've got, it's got a football fan. Is that, uh, actually, there's a bit of everything in there. We've got all the teams. Pretty much. But yeah, all the locker rooms, uh, I guess that's the shower down there. So you've got different areas of the building. Yeah. That's the first time I've been that close to a pigeon. It's I sat on my foot, by the way, just sat there. <laughs> I was going to pick it up, but I was like, I better not. I don't know the disease it'd have. Yeah. True. So it's been, See, guys, I, I love you, pigeons so. do die here very, very, uh, very often because of the environment. Everything is sharp, there is dull objects everywhere. All it takes is for a pigeon to slice its foot and it's dead because it um, can live with it. It can live with it. So we've got very, the gems' toilets over right. here. Um, now let's go up to the upstairs oh, area. Flashlight. Let's see what the upstairs office looks like. Uh, something underneath there, but I would not want to check that out. There is a basement, um, which me and Thomas are going to go and check later on. But uh, yeah, here's the toilet. So oh, someone's taken a massive shit and exploded the toilet. Oh my god. But yeah, and then there's me. And hand wash only, so they put the taps here, but it's obviously just been completely ripped apart. And uh, yeah. But you have like a school chair and things like that. These are like really old fashioned chairs. You would never see these in your local mall or whatever. <coughs> but let's uh, check out the other places. Oh wait, what's this? These are like buttons and stuff like that. I guess that's just to control the power and everything. I have no clue. Yeah, there is a, um, a basement along here. Uh, and there it is, it takes you right down there. Secret place. It's pretty um, intense, but yeah. I think I should go down there, but I don't really want to go down by myself. <laughs> um, so we'll probably go when uh, Thomas is done. Recording like all the other places just now because uh, obviously he needs to get his footage because we were here the last time and he lost some of his footage. So, yeah, um, we've almost basically explored everywhere now. If you guys are enjoying the video, please do give it a like, subscribe, and comment. Um, it would really help it, me out a lot. Uh, and just show some love to the channel, you know? So many rooms, like, just takes you everywhere. Oh look, there's the hooks. There's the hooks that they would use. I could, uh, go and tell Thomas about that. Because uh, he said there was all the hooks had been taken off, but. Damn. It's pretty scary. Uh, we have uh, some sort of switch thing over here. Obviously, can't be used anymore, so. Um, yeah. It's just fucked, really. Uh, got a lot of graffiti as well. So you can tell people have been here. I'm not gonna lie, people do have a very creative mindset when it comes to spray paint and graffiti. Uh, but I don't know what this room is, but it is pretty wrecked. It is really hard to tell um, what rooms are what when it's been like completely damaged and everything. But um, yeah. Uh, I have no clue where this place is, but... Okay. 
Hey guys, so um, this is basically the same sort of material as a fridge and this we keep all the meat uh, nice and cool and everything. We also have a little thermostat and uh, all these other stuff as well. Um, and this place had been closed down in 2005 and 80 to 90 people had lost their jobs um, and a bunch of like, like loads of sheep had been killed as well. So um, things ended pretty badly for all the staff and things like that here. A lot of people, a lot of sheep lost their legs, right? Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of sheep. Right, look. Hey, these legs are not too bad. That beam is fatter than the, the small beam. I'm yeah, like definitely. Look at this part over here. Oh my god. <laughs> Dead! That's disgusting. So, so here is where the lambs, so they would have, they would have dropped the lambs down here, so this is where the lambs would have walked in. Mm -hmm. Then they would have slit their throats, then hung them upside down on hooks, and then they would have shot the hooks across. So here they are, where the lambs were kept, the livestock was kept. Um, these were the blood and baths, so that's where the blood would have all been, and it would have gotten down into drains. Um, mm -hmm. And there was also a machine just there that used to take the meat down, it's like a conveyor belt. I'll mm -hmm. try and get a picture for you, so you can put it in your video. Uh, but all these on the floor, um, these are all to do with them. Um, we also have um, these. These <coughs> are where we just they throw dead heads down. Yep. So they throw they dead, like, down. the legs and the heads down there. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty high up as well. So it's about a, uh, I'd maybe say, a 10 foot drop. Something like that, you know. Seriously. 10 foot drop. Let's take a look at this room over here. Um, obviously someone has done some graffiti on this bird. The key to the light. Okay. Um, yeah, there's just a bunch of like rocks and cans and all that other stuff. Um, People of ours, they like hung about here, like teenagers and stuff like that. Um, you need an empty addition at all? Like this washing tray, this washing tray. Someone looks like a family fire in here. That's what we, we set up. See, if a woman came here, mm -hmm. they'd, be, they'd actually get kept quite thingy. Yeah. Hey. I wonder what ripped that head off. That was not there when we came here. Yeah, I know. That's an animal from that. It's an animal, 100%. Well, you know, possibly. Here, yeah? um, I have gone through this room over here. You through this room here? I've gone through this room over here, but I've, I've, not, I've not gone through this one yet. I basically did show a little bit of this place, but... So down there is completely burnt? Yeah. So down there is completely burnt. There's nothing down there, it's just a dead end. Yeah. But there's a machinery part there, which is quite smart. And, and then here's a window bit here. Fucking good. They are. These lights are really good for a fire on that. They're, they're really like bright as so well. You can find the model of this, like, right? You can find the model of this light. Mm -hmm. Try and get one that's got more than one LED. Because these are yeah. the one LED. You can get one with like four LEDs. And the batteries are huge in this thing as well. Yeah. Like, this is how thick it is, basically. But yeah. Um, so we're going to head to the basement now. And the ladder is pretty rusted. Can you show them the little birdies. The little. What? Can you show them the, the little baby uh, pigeons. The baby pigeons? Yeah. Uh, was it through here? Yeah. Can't believe I saved that wee birdie's life. That's my good one. That's my really one good deed today. So these pigeons, I would say, maybe are about a month to a month and a half years old. There's one, there's two there. And then there's two up there as they're well. Alive. Yeah, they're alive. Oh yeah, I see it. Their mother. I see, I see their mother is um. Their mother's there. <laughs> <laughs> I was just showing them that as well. Um, but there's wee ones up here. But uh, if we come through and show them the, the the eggs, there's some eggs through here that were just actually really? they were just um put here recently. So I'd say within the. Can you hear that bee? Yeah, I thought it was something else. Right, so down here, those were recently just laid there within maybe the last two or three weeks. 
uh, not laid there, they were hatched. But these two here, those were oh just my laid. God. They were just laid there. Um, those were just laid there today or yesterday because they were not there the other day. But this was this was one of their this was one of their, their checking offices. So this would have been like their preparation room. This would have been like maybe like a supervisor's room or a manager's room. Yeah, I was thinking that as well because this uh, is an office. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an M. It's a H. It's so an M H S office. So M H S office. We'll try and find what that means. Um, yeah. Let's go down to the basement. Uh, the basement's over here. Yeah. This way. So guys, we're gonna head downstairs. Down to the bottom of this ladder, which looks pretty scary. Um, and I'm going to let you know guys when I'm at the bottom. So let's do this. Alright, so I've made it to the bottom and I have been through this looks like some sort of electrical stuff. Um, but this is the basement. And we have some electrical stuff here. That's quite Look at that. Our book floor looks like a bowl. For us. <laughs> um, <laughs> here, this would only be allowed to uh, access personnel. So it's great for this electrical hazard. No system, of course, uh, in terms of the wire or anything. Oh, there's and a spider on the roof. Absolutely yeah. amazing. There's another hard hat kind of stuff as well. So nothing really here. So let's just, uh, just head upstairs and let's see what's going up there. We have so made it to this other part of the slaughterhouse and um, I'm guessing this is where like all the sheep would be kept and stuff like that um, and usually they'd be held until they'd be taken through and slaughtered through the other main part just over there. So they would bring the lambs all the way around here. And then afterwards, they would go through there and pretty much all their uh, blood would be drained and slaughtered and stuff like that. So pretty sad. Sorry for you vegetarians out there that are watching this video. But uh, yeah, that is quite sickening, I'm not going to lie. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, comment, and click the left if you want to see the previous videos that I've made, and click the right for my YouTube channel. Take it easy guys. Peace.